So here we are getting prepared for the big fueling off the rooftop event. This here is called the appetizer. It's a motor that's to run off of a food grade olive oil, bake bread off the exhaust pipe, and have people dip the baked bread into the fuel. Sounds terrible, but it'll work. Hello, whoever this person is. Who is this person? Josh, how you doing? Hi, Josh. Josh has been the main guy working on the appetizer since day one. It's a beautiful thing. Josh, do you have any comments? Uh, I just can't wait to taste the bread. Can't <laughs> wait. It should be good. All right. Next thing, what do we got here? This is an electric vehicle project. So, I am filming the electric vehicle and Alex is working on the charger and we're filming. So, what happened to Alex? Alex is over there. Alex, what's going on here? What are you doing? Oh, he's still not here. Looks pretty. Oh, there he is. Hello, Alex. I'm trying to mount the charger. So these cherries are helping me. Oh. Well, how is the cherries helping you? I guess they're providing you energy. What is, what's under here besides this charger? Well, let's see. That's where people sit, Alex. What possibly could be hidden under there? Alternative forms of power to power the vehicle. Ah, batteries. What a clever place to put batteries. Totally not intruding on any part of the passenger or luggage space. Very clever, Alex. Did you think that went up all on your own? Good job, Alex. Good job, Alex. What else do we got going over here? <laughs> Who's this old guy? Old? Oh, he's not old. He just is old in knowledge. That's right. W and wisdom. Wise. That's right. That's wow. Right. W wisdom. No. What are you putting in here next to this? Oh, electric motor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's no gas motor in here. No. No. Well, the car runs on 156 volts, and you have to have some way to keep the regular 12 volt battery charged for your headlights and stuff. Uh -huh. This is what they call a DC to DC converter. It converts 156 volts to like 12 and a half volts, 13 volts to keep your regular battery charged. Cool. That's it. It's here cool. somewhere. I'm not sure where, but somewhere. Well, thank you, Ed. My pleasure, Mark. Thank you. So you're going to be done in 10 minutes. We are. Eric Sr. What you doing, Eric? Um, painting. <laughs> you would never guess it, but this guy is the loudest person in the class. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't guess it, would you? <laughs> no. I'm sure my, my wife would argue Here. that was impossible. No, it can't be. <laughs> can't be. You're always the loudest. Always the loudest. The senior here has been working on the rear battery box. With, uh, with Alex. Alex. All right. Paint away, senior. Ah, uh, here we come to the ethanol processor. Once again, there's nobody over at this station while I'm filming. Wow, what is going on over here? Oh, here he is. Who are you? Uh, Nick Kunihiro. Nick Kunihiro. What, what are you doing, Nick? I'm uh, running a, a batch uh, through our ethanol processor to make ethanol uh -huh. and run cars on. All right, so we've got a barrel of bread schmegma that's fermented and now we're going to boil it off and send it into this contraption here. What is this crazy thing? This is our ethanol processor that uh, separates the alcohol from, uh, from the water. Uh-huh. So you get as close to uh, pure alcohol out of it as you possibly can. And I guess they go into these barrels here. Yes, they do. Cool. What else do we got? Over here? 
Mr. Matt, what are you doing? I'm uh, being forced to work on my teacher's car. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Great, Matt. <laughs> this is a veggie car conversion. We're trying to get it ready for the show. It's very hard to explain all the intricacies of a reliable veggie car conversion, so we're just going to leave it at that. But it runs on veggie oil. Matt, look at the camera once. There you go. Thank you. There he is. And if I could get one more exhibit in here. This is our extreme mileage exhibit. Potentially it has the highest reward. We're trying to enter this in a hundred mile per gallon. Well, it's not a contest. It's our own self-imposed project we're working on. So we're working on electrolyzing hydrogen to stitch a combustion with this device here. And here we have a way to control the fuel going in to reduce it. This is the old VW motor that came out where the electric vehicle was. And we're going to be messing with water injection and alcohol injection. It's also been the biggest pain in the butt. But we're not ready to give up yet.